Hi there and welcome to the brand new TXNR696. Now in this video I'm going to take you across the front, the back, inside the unit and everywhere in between and try and give you a full rundown of what the new 696 can do. Well I think I'll start off talking about the sound quality which is obviously vitally important when you're talking about an AVR. The 696 is actually the first receiver in the new range that's THX certified and it's managed to receive the select certification. But what does this actually mean, if anything at all? Well, the easiest way to explain this is that it's a guarantee. The first guarantee is actually room size. Right, now here's our imaginary home cinema system. And in the imaginary world, everything is perfect. Is that if the room does not exceed 57 cubic meters or 2000 cubic feet, THX guarantees the same high volume and low distortion that you would get in a THX certified theatre. And the way they make this guarantee is making sure that any manufacturer requesting THX certification has to meet their stringent 2,000 tests and over 14,000 data points. So passing all of the tests that were ahead of the 696 means it achieves THX's reference quality sound. Oh, but some of you might not realise that the THX certification has nothing to do with actually decoding soundtracks. So we fitted the 696 with the very latest processing from Dolby Atmos and DTS-X, both of which would benefit from updates. DTS will get DTS Virtual X, and Dolby will have the Atmos Height Virtualizer. And as we're talking about processing, that's a perfect segue to take us inside this powerhouse of a receiver. Now underneath the bonnet of the 696, there's actually now a quad core processor. And this is responsible for all of the decoding and post-processing to do with the sound. Now when it comes to the DA converters, we've got you covered on that as well. And that's because we're using the chipset from AKM and it's 32-bit processing allows us to do all of the channels on one chip. Our amplification stages are actually something really special. Now we use something called dynamic audio amplification. Now this isn't just one thing, it's a collection of important technologies. The most important part is the transformer because you can't deliver earth-shattering cinema sound without delivering the power to the amplifiers. And that's why we make our transformers in our own factories just so we know they're good enough then in our amplifier designs we make sure all of the signals and frequencies meet to your ears at the same time this way you get the holographic sound stage that you deserve and then the vlsc completely removes all of the digital noise created by the dax it's our own little housekeeper inside the signal chain as far as networking goes, it's down to you what you want to choose. Hardwire or Wi-Fi, both are covered. And because we've got the networking sorted out, you get all of the normal streaming facilities that you've come to expect. Spotify, TuneIn, Deezer, Tidal, Amazon Music, and with the ability to play high-res files when they're streaming it. We also have support for Chromecast built-in, works with Apple AirPlay, and one of my personal favorites is the works with Sonos. And I'll put a link in the description that'll take you straightly to the how-to guide for that. The 696 has seven channels of amplification built in, rated at 175 watts. So this means you're never gonna be short of power. This means you can have various configurations of speaker setups and everything from a 5.1 system all the way through to a 5.2.2 system. But when you've got all your speakers physically hooked up, all you have to do is plug in the supplied microphone and run the AccuEQ calibration to get the best out of your system. We've also given you three presets, which means after you've done the auto calibration, you can go into this part of the menu and tweak the sound till you've got it just the way you want it. Another nice feature for 2019 is we've actually added a vocal enhancer. This feature gives you the ability to boost the vocals just enough if you're running it at low volumes so you don't have to strain to hear what people are saying. Now with the multi-room side of things, you've got a couple of different avenues you can go. First off would be the old school way of wiring a pair of speakers directly back to the 696 and using the two channels in the amplifier. And the two channels you should use are marked on the screen. But this will take your system down to a 5.1. You just need to bear that in mind. If you want to use all seven channels in the AVR for the cinema side, 
then what you can do is use the pre-out and set it to zone two and then run that off to a separate amplifier in the second location. And you can still have your independent volume and independent source at the same time. But we do have some more multi-room options if what I've shown you isn't for you or you don't have that sort of wiring in your residence. Now taking advantage of the fact that this is a network receiver, the 696 offers you DTS PlayFi, Flare Connect, and works with Sonos. Now depending on your networking multi-room needs will depend on which one that you want to use, but that's why we've offered you all three. The 696 gives you all that you need when it comes to HDMI. It supports up to 4K 60p and UHD, along with Dolby Vision, HDR10 and HLG. And I've included some more specs for the people who really do like all the techie detail. And then one final note on the HDMI, it's got two outputs and the secondary output can be set as a zone two. And that means it'll give you a different source at the same time in a different room. Or alternatively, you can just use it as a sub zone if you're running a projector, let's say. Ah, oh, I almost forgot to tell you about the app. It's available from the App Store and on Google Play, and it really does enhance the user experience of the 696. I really do hope you've enjoyed watching this video on the TXNR696. We'd love it for you to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Sony's DH590 comes with an improved design and a smaller, more compact form factor while maintaining the same sound quality that you would expect from a Sony receiver. To deliver this sound quality, the chassis has been designed to be much more rigid to minimize vibrations. The DH590 has four HDMI inputs and one HDMI output, all supporting 4K HDR pass-through, including Dolby Vision. This is important because not only do you want to get the best sound quality, you also want to get the best picture quality. The DH590 is incredibly easy to set up using the on-screen interface. There's a step-by-step -step process that you can follow, bringing you through all the different options that you would need to configure the receiver. Have you ever wondered why the movie theater sounds better than your TV? It's simple. The movie theater has surround sound. If you're new to surround sound and interested in creating an immersive experience at home, here's where to start. Surround sound is the key to transforming your living room into a home theater experience. With a 5.1 channel setup in your home, sounds from your favorite movies can seem like they're all around you. Most surround sound systems require either an AV receiver or a soundbar. A receiver is the most traditional and flexible. An AV receiver has inputs on the back to easily connect your TV, speakers, and more. Start by connecting your TV to your AV receiver with an HDMI cable using the ARC connections. This will allow your AV receiver to decode and distribute the sound signal to the six speakers, creating a surround sound environment. Now let's set up your speakers. To create a 5.1 channel surround sound experience, six speakers are required a left, center, and right speaker for the front, a surround left and surround right speaker, and a subwoofer for added bass. The front speakers are the main source for sound and cover most of the on-screen action. 
Place these an equal distance from where you'll be sitting, with equal distance between each speaker and the sides of your TV. The center speaker handles mainly dialogue. Place the center speaker directly over or under your TV. The surround speakers for the back left and back right are used for effects and surround sound, such as footsteps and explosions that take place behind the characters on screen. These speakers should be placed behind your viewing position. The subwoofer handles the lowest frequencies, such as explosions, animal growls, and humming of engines. You can actually feel the sounds from the subwoofer. Place it on the floor near the front of the room. After placing the speakers in the appropriate location of the room, connect each speaker to the correctly labeled input on the back of the AV receiver using speaker wire. Few spaces are set up for ideal speaker placement. You may have a bookshelf on one side or a couch a few feet left of center. No problem, you can still enjoy surround sound. Every Yamaha receiver comes with a microphone to calibrate each speaker to your listening position. After a short, automatic analysis, this system, called YPOW, optimizes your surround sound system to your unique room setup. Sometimes running speaker wires to the back of a room isn't possible or practical. The latest Yamaha AV receivers and soundbars with MusicCast can be paired with wireless speakers for surround sound. If you don't have space to tuck or hide speaker wires, it's no longer a barrier to creating a full 5.1 channel surround sound setup. You'll soon forget you're watching a movie and start to feel like you're a part of it as each speaker works together with your 5.1 channel setup. Enjoy the show. If you like the video, please click on the like button, write a comment, and subscribe to my channel.